Hey guys, it's Amanda. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about something that's really important to me and that is being confident in yourself and just sort of confidence in all different aspects. I've actually teamed up with Pantene to be a part of their Shine Strong campaign which is all about empowering women across the globe to embrace their inner and outer beauty and be strong and confident and reach their full potential which I think is an amazing message. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be about but first a lot of you guys have recently been commenting and asking me about my hair and sort of how I style it and my hair care routine and that sort of thing especially since I cut it a while back. I cut off quite a lot and a big reason for that was because I wanted my hair to sort of have like a fresh start and I wanted to cut off all the dead ends and just make it healthy again. So ever since then I've been really into trying to keep my hair healthy and a big part of that is the Pantene trio that I've been using. Um, I've been using the shampoo and conditioner and this is just the repair and protect miracle repairing shampoo and conditioner and it says on the back here that it erases six months of damage in one use. I've been really loving these and at least for me I can definitely tell a difference after using this. And then the third part of the trio that I use is the Pantene Pro-V Overnight Miracle Repair Serum and it's just a serum that you put in before you go to bed. You just need a couple pumps and you put it into your hair. What's better than going to sleep and waking up with amazing hair? Now I'm just going to answer the tag questions. Be sure to stay till the end of the video because I have a coupon and a giveaway. So let's just get into it. The first question is, finish this sentence. Strong is... So for me, strong is accepting yourself. What I mean by that is accepting your flaws, your strengths, your weaknesses, likes, dislikes, personality traits, physical features, just everything about yourself. Embracing yourself is a really strong thing to do because you're no longer looking at other people for happiness. You're relying on yourself to make yourself happy. For me personally, I don't think I fully accepted myself yet, but I've come a long way. I used to look at other girls and pick out different features and things about them that I liked and I would wish that I had them. It was like a subconscious thing. But I think that I've changed and I think that I've accepted myself and embraced what I have and I'm really grateful for what I have. That's just one example of accepting yourself, but the whole idea of accepting yourself can go into multiple different situations and once you do, it just builds your confidence and makes you stronger. The next question is, what's the bravest thing you've ever done? I'm guessing this isn't about like skydiving or jumping off a cliff or something, so I'm gonna go with like everyday acts of bravery. The bravest thing that I've probably done is choosing my own path. An obvious example would be YouTube. Um, there are a lot of people on YouTube now, but still it's not really a conventional thing to do, so that's definitely a brave thing to do is just putting yourself out there. But also in real life, um, when I was in grade 8, I got into two programs for high school. I got into a math and science enriched program, and that was where all my friends would be. And I got into an art school, and I ended up choosing the art school. My parents obviously supported me either way, but there was this voice in the back of my head that said, you have to go to a math and science program in order to be a doctor, an engineer, and be successful. Which I now realize is something really stupid of me to even think, but I'm really glad that I chose the art school and something that I actually have a passion for. Next is, what do you do to unwind? To unwind, I veg out and chill on my bed and just watch TV shows and YouTube videos while eating food. It's really relaxing because you're literally just sitting there doing nothing. Although it's really unproductive, but story of my life. Question four is one thing you've always wanted to learn. Something that I've been wanting to learn forever, and it was even on my summer bucket list this summer, but I've just had no time, I've been so busy, and that is learn to play guitar. I think it's such a beautiful instrument, and I want to be able to jam out by myself. Like, I know how to play the piano, the violin, and the trumpet, but you can't really, like, jam out to the violin, so... Yeah. <laughs> Number five is how does your BFF shine strong? I have um, a bunch of people that I'm really close with, but I'm going to talk about two people in specific, Pega and Diane. Um, I love you guys, shout out to you. So Pega, you guys know from my best friend Tag a while back, and she also films a bunch of my videos. I think Pega shines strong because she's been through a lot, and no matter what she goes through, she just keeps going and she keeps living with a smile on her face. So, And as for Diane, I think she shines strong because she's really confident about herself. She has a really good idea of what she wants from her life and 
she stands up for her friends and herself and her family and I think that's just amazing. I know they're watching this right now, so love you guys. The next question is, what natural talent would you want to be gifted with? Without a doubt, I would want the talent to sing well. I feel like if I had a good singing voice, I would just sing all the time, non-stop, and it would just be like a 24-7 musical. Yeah, maybe it's not a good idea if I have a good singing voice then, but still. Number seven is, what is your idea of happiness? And for me, happiness would be living with no regrets. I don't want to like look back on my life and think, oh, I could have, should have, would have, done this. I just want to look back and know that I did everything that I wanted to. There's nothing that I would have changed. Number eight is what is your motto or words that you live by that mean a lot to you? Something that I like to live by is dreams should never stay dreams. And what I mean by that is dreaming can only take you so far because you should be working to make your dream a reality. Pretty much if you want something, just go and get it. Number nine is what is your ultimate shine strong hairstyle? So my ultimate shine strong hairstyle, which is just something that makes me feel comfortable and confident about myself, is when my hair is sort of like in wavy curls. And how I get that is I put my hair into a French braid before I go to bed, and then when I wake up, I have like wavy hair and Maybe if there are some weird pieces, I'll fix it up with a curling iron. If you guys want me to do an in-depth tutorial, let me know and I could definitely do that because it's pretty much how I do my hair almost every day. Number 10 is finish the sentence. I love good hair days because... I love good hair days because it makes me feel more comfortable with myself and you can just let your hair do its own thing and you don't need to worry about fixing it. Number 11 is share your best tip for strong healthy hair. My best tip would be to not wash your hair every day because it just strips out all your natural oils and also to focus the conditioner on the ends of your hair rather than the roots because that'll just build up more oil and make your hair oily which will make you have to shower more. Lastly, number 12 is finish Finish this sentence. I shine strong when I. I shine strong when I'm trying my best. And as cheesy as that sounds, it's true because sometimes it's easier for me to just slack off and be lazy. But um, I get the best results and I am the most confident in myself when I'm doing my hardest at whatever I'm doing, whether it's homework, YouTube, anything. Okay, guys, so that was the Shine Strong tag. I hope this was. A little thought-provoking and helped you learn a bit more about me. I'm gonna be tagging a couple people down below to do the tag. Um, I'd love to hear their responses but I'm also tagging you guys so if you guys want to do the tag whether it's on YouTube or in an Instagram post or on a blog post whatever you want you guys can definitely do that. Now on to the exciting part of the video. Um, there is a coupon code for two dollars off any Pantene product which you guys can get in the description bar or wait till the end. And also, this is a giveaway. So Pantene has given me 10 prize packs to give away to my viewers, you lovely people. I'll be giving away 5 on Twitter and 5 on Instagram, so all the information and details for the giveaway will be down below in the description bar below. The giveaway will be open for two weeks, and unfortunately it's only for my Canadian viewers, but for the rest of the world, I will be doing a lot more giveaways in the future. So yeah, um... Be sure to enter the giveaway if you want to win a bunch of awesome Pantene products. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you to Pantene for letting me be a part of this amazing campaign. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.